All right, I'm here with Matt from Trivium, from For Old Schools magazine. Um, yeah, Matt, um, it's been a while since we've heard from your band, from you in general. Um, it's been quite silent around here the last couple of weeks, a couple of months actually. Um, but now it's starting to, there are some news about some new music, a new record. Uh, why have you been so quiet the last time? What, was, what happened? We were looking at how all the other bands were promoting their new records that were coming out. It was basically the same thing. Fan guy, Instagram, sitting by a computer with a beer saying, oh, I just finished drums, or I just finished this, finished that. And we saw that it's basically every band in the world seemed to be doing the exact same thing. And we said, how can we be different? Well, if everyone is talking about the record all the time, let's not let anyone know we're recording at all and just release it when it's done. Mm -hmm. So then it got me thinking about film, you know, when a movie's coming out and Star Wars is about to come out, we're not seeing the making of now. We're seeing trailers for the final product see the final product, get the final product, and then the making of is after. So with us, we wanted to wait, release a video first thing, and let that be the first thing, versus us teasing stuff without music. And now we have constant more things coming out this week. Another video is coming out, and it's going to be unlike any video we've ever had before. The last one was unlike anything we've ever had before. Okay. And the rest will be unlike the previous as well. So it's coming very quick now, mm -hmm. we've had some... Yep. Yeah, we, we, set it, we, we knew exactly what we are doing, we had the plan set, built up all the preparation, built up the materials, and time that exactly when everything would come out. Yeah. Did you already hear some feedback from, from people who listened to the new stuff for the new uh, videos? Yeah, yeah. Uh, how has the uh, big band so far? Everybody's happy. Yeah? yeah? Okay. So yeah, the news is that uh, there's going to be a new record, Silence in the Snow, mm -hmm. coming October 2nd. Um, can you just tell us a little bit about how you made the record in the end, how it's been created? Mm -hmm. A big thing with us on this album is we wanted to go back to what it is to be a band. Mm -hmm. And that means a band writing in a room together. Yeah. Four guys or however many maybe jamming in a room and not running everything off computers like it's been done so much lately. Obviously it's recorded two computers in the end, but for us we wanted to make sure we jammed and were able to play it as people first and work on it from there. The main song Silence of the Snow was actually written back in 2007 uh -huh. after seeing Heaven and Hell and Heaven and Hell is Dio singing for Black Sabbath in Japan and seeing that for the first time and really changed something in all of us and changed something in me and I started writing the song Silence of the Snow back in 2007. And I feel that song maybe was too big for where we were at at the time. Um, maybe we hadn't grown into the song yet, so we held on to it for about eight years, where mm -hmm. finally Paula was like, you know what, I think Silence of the Snow should be on the next record. And when we wrote new music, put that on there, that became the title track of the record. Okay. Yeah, I've heard that in another interview that uh, you've seen this band and uh, kind of got in inspired by this. Um, what exactly, what's that, what, what there in the music, I mean, uh, hindered you from not making it earlier? I mean, uh, can you describe the difference that you moved on? Like, is it more technically uh, written? Is it uh, gone into more, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe you can explain It's that. actually pretty similar to the way it was initially. It just, it called for so much space and openness and that it was a lot more stripped back. It was a lot more reliant on needing really big vocals and really confident, simplistic musicality mm -hmm. that I don't think we were ready for that yet. I mean, Shogun was a very technical album with a lot of notes, a lot of things going on. And with South of the Snow, it was a little bit more simple. And I think we just weren't, we didn't know how to tackle that yet. I don't think we were at the point where we were able to tackle that yet. And nowadays, I think with big open space songs, we can do them just as well as we can. Incredibly difficult technical songs. Okay. So when, were, when was the point, the trigger that you realized, okay, uh, we had this idea since 2007, so eight years now. Uh, now is the time to, to do it. It was Paula that brought it up. It was one day in the dress room in the UK on a tour we were doing with Killswitch Engage where we just had a collection of demos together. We started writing. And he said, guys, I think we should finally use Silence in the Snow. And I said, really? Okay, let's do it. <laughs> it was that simple. Really? Yeah. She just said, let's do it. All right. So what's the, the Silence in the Snow theme? Where does that, that come from, the title? The title originally came from an old Japanese play called Suikoden. And there was, a, there was a painting piece in relation to that called Yuki no Damari, which is this piece of two tattooed warriors fighting in the snow. And Yuki no Damari means Silence in the Snow. So I got the title from that old Japanese piece and wrote the lyrics and music around that. Okay. Yeah, I've heard that you're kind of into this uh, and Japanese uh, f fighting scene. I mean, you do fight or something? Um, some I'm sport. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, I do. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I'm, I'm very much in the Japanese culture, being half Japanese. Yeah. So yeah, you seem to be quite a balanced person after all. I mean, doing the, the sport, doing the music, um, kind of getting the rest from your uh, yeah, probably stressful life, but 
Do you really feel like being balanced or? I, the only reason why I'm a balanced human being is because I have music as an outlet. I have jujitsu, weightlifting, yoga, food, uh, family, friends, because I have all those things. So it's a lot, it's a lot that yeah. I put into my day and in my life to, to make me feel nice and balanced. Yeah. When I'm at home, I was taking cook, cooking lessons from a local chef, he's my teacher now, um, taking vocal lessons with a man named Ron Anderson, guitar lessons for learning how to play classical guitar, yoga classes, weightlifting training, jujitsu training six days a week, so it, it's a very busy life. Yeah, it sounds like a packed schedule. Yep, keeps me sane. Yeah, so talking about schedule, what's your uh, life schedule coming up for uh, the rest of the year, for next year? Is there anything about Germany planned already? Or? Um, well, we just finished up the, the festival the festival season, or the, the small metal festival season for us. Home for a couple of weeks, go do a North American co-headlining tour. Then there's nothing in Europe or the US after that for the rest of the year. We're already setting up our fe festivals for Europe for middle of next year and the middle of the following year. Mm. And we're gonna build our stuff around there. We don't have any co headlining stuff set up just yet. Okay. If you could pick who you uh, can tour with, just any band at any time, uh, what would your lineup be? Yeah. In Flames is still one of our favorite bands in the world to tour with. I think we've done somewhere around 10, 10 or 12 tours together already. Yeah. And they're some of our closest friends. So definitely those guys more um, we just played some shows with Sepultura, and we've never toured with them before, and those, those guys, amazing guys live, amazing people who love to tour with them more. Yeah, that, that sounds like a nice three-band yeah. bill, Trivium, Sepultura, and Flames. Yeah. I have seen photos of your uh, show at Summer Breeze, mm -hmm. I think, last weekend, and you had these like two gigantic uh, sculptures mm -hmm. uh, on stage. Is this probably what you're going to bring on stage when you tour uh, clubs here? Or yeah, well, what's we, the we've been, that you're we played a tiny club festival, uh, or, sorry, sorry, tiny club show in Vienna, and we brought those giant skull things oh. in there too. Yeah. yeah, so we every album we want to make sure we have the production that matches what the record's yeah. art was. So you can expect something new definitely, soon? Definitely, definitely, that's our plan. Okay, sounds like a good end. Thank you awesome. very much. Thank you very much. And enjoy the day here. Oh, yeah, you too.